the short story of how Reggie Bush was forced to forfeit his 2005 Heisman Trophy. Reggie was a highly touted recruit coming out of Helix High School in La Mesa, California. Bush was considered a five-star recruit by Rivals.com and the number one running back in the country in 2003. Bush was also a star on the track, running a 10-4, 200-meter dash, the fastest time in the state. With offers from all major programs, Bush chose to attend the University of Southern California to play for Coach Pete Carroll. Bush made an immediate impact for the Trojans, going for 1,331 all-purpose yards and being named a freshman All-American. The next year, Reggie became a star when he finished fifth in Heisman voting after adding over 2,300 all-purpose yards. Then the season that made him legendary, 2005, where he had over 2,500 all-purpose yards. The game that won him the Heisman was probably against Fresno State, where he ran for 294 yards and two touchdowns. Bush would win the Heisman that year, although USC would go on to lose the national championship game to Texas. Everyone knew at this point Reggie was headed straight to the NFL and would be drafted early in the first round. However, a sports agent had given Bush almost 300 k throughout his college career. The agent wanted to sue, and in this case, the NCAA was alerted. They then began an investigation. Most of the information was found to be true, and the punishments began to come down on USC and Bush. USC was given four years probation and forced to vacate all wins from the 2005 season and forced to forfeit 30 scholarships over three years. Bush was forced to give his Heisman Trophy back, and USC had to disassociate completely from Reggie Bush. This was major because Reggie Bush was an icon at this time, so it made it very difficult for USC to remove everything Reggie Bush from their school. It was a story of an icon that turned dark very quickly.